Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing a product updates video and I do apologize that the air conditioner is on. I never realized how annoying it was until I watched several of my videos with the AC on and I was just like, this is so annoying. But it is hot and I just want to say sorry right off the bat and let's get started because there's tons of products in this video. This is the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo and I really like this. It keeps my hair clean. It smells really nice. Not floral or anything. Um, not that that's a problem with me um, but I just want to tell you. It's just like a very fresh smelling scent and it comes out really strong so all you see is like a really big white powdery mess on your head and I was thinking to myself oh wow that's gonna be hard to like really you know get with your hands and brush it out but it disappeared really nicely and I do like this and I would repurchase it's not uh, my favorite dry shampoo which is the herbal essence dry shampoo body MV I really like this this made my hair feel super clean this makes my hair feel clean but I do like both and I would recommend both okay next are some lip products and let's see I'll, okay so this is the Mary Kay vanilla mint lip balm I got this from my mom I'm not even sure if they make this anymore uh, I wasn't a fan of the consistency or the scent like I said it's vanilla mint I do like vanilla and I do like mint but maybe it's just their version it just didn't smell very good uh, here is the soothing touch grapefruit plus vitamin C lip balm and I love I love um, what do I love I love grapefruit the grape scent of grapefruit I love eating grapefruit drinking grapefruit juice uh, but this just I I don't know I just didn't it smells like artificial grapefruit and I'm not a fan of that so I mm, struck out with that this is the Dr. Hauschka lip care stick softens hydrates and protects and this is not cheap and there goes my crazy bangs that I cut myself again I can't wait for those to grow out Ugh. okay so this is expensive it's about 14 uh, well, expensive to me I don't know for a lip balm and I was expecting to love it and I just did not it just did not wow me and I'm gonna continue to use it I just um yeah I didn't love it so that was kind of a disappointment this is the is this a Tony Moly yeah Tony Moly petite bunny glass gloss bar and I'm gonna talk about a few Mimi box items in here that I have started to use it has taken me a long time to just get through all the Mimi box products but I have gone through I think almost every single one that I've um, from the boxes that I've gotten so this is the lip gloss I just I don't actually love the lip balm which looks like this sorry there's like lipstick on there try to think if there's a there is a scent, but I can't smell. I don't know if there's something else in the room, but isn't that so cute? I just love it, and I think it's adorable. That's why I'm keeping it around. Next, so I will be cute. talking about nail polishes. This is the OPI Top Coat, and I really like this. I think I'm going to continue to purchase this until I find one that I really, really like. And this does, this does a good job of keeping my nail polish on for longer and my nails look really glossy I'm not surprised because I love OPI I am going to try Essie next but let me try to get through this bottle uh, speaking of Essie these are two Essie nail polishes that I would totally recommend to you I love them and they kind of match my shirt that's cool uh, this is Essie's Tarte Deco which I love well I love both of them um, and this is Garden Variety. I believe you can still get both. I'm not sure. This is from the Spring Collection that's out. So hopefully you guys can still get it. And I think this is permanent. But they're just both great colors for the summer. And just really, really beautiful. This one, my sister, had. I got her this one. And I wanted one of my own because the color was just so beautiful. Okay, next is Zoya's Hazel. And this is a really cool color because it looks like it's foiled when you look at it like this way and in the sun it looks really nice but I'm just not loving the formula you need I feel like two or three coats which two isn't bad I feel like three is a bit much sometimes um, and I just you guys you guys people who love Zoya let me know what colors I should try that are good because I just have been it's been missed for me when I've what of what I've tried from Zoya Except for, actually, that's a lie. I had uh, 
I had gotten several years back a couple of red nail polishes that were beautiful. Okay, this is another OPI nail polish in Petal Soft, and this is gorgeous. I just love this glitter nail polish. It has big flowers in it, big white flowers, and then there's pink and white glitter, different sizes. This, my camera's not doing it justice, but it is beautiful. Beautiful. I would recommend this This one. is the Fair Free Ultra Facial Oil Free Gel Cream, and I showed this in my skincare video. This is from a Mimi box. And I really like this, but I was trying to finish up the boots that I was using every day. But I just decided to use the boots as a body moisturizer so I could get, I could finish that faster. This is a very thin consistency, like boots, but it just seems to hold a little bit more moisture and not greasy at all. So I really, really like this. And I don't know if I would get it again because I don't like it as much as other moisturizers that I've gotten. Uh, I think the next one I'm probably going to get is the same one that I had before, which is the Olay Sensitive Daily Moisturizer. I really like that one. And so this is nice, and I'm glad that I got to try it. The same thing for this product. This is the Hinoki Spa Cream by Shara Shara, another Mimi Box product. I love their packaging. This is, I use this on my spa nights, which I have to do a routine on. I use a whole bunch of products on my face every two to three days, and this is one of them. So this is pretty heavy moisturizer. You could tell it's like, I couldn't do this with that other one that I just showed you. But this is really nice, and I just feel like my face is getting treated royally, I guess. And I do like this product. Okay, next is the... Burt's Bees Radiance Eye Cream with Royal Jelly. I've been using this pretty much every day or, when, you know, when I try to remember, but I feel like it's been every day, and I just am not seeing anything. I don't know why I'm zooming in like that. I just am not seeing... This is the consistency, and, you know, it's it looks like I use none of it, but I have used it, and I just feel like I'm not seeing anything. I'm going to try because I know skincare you have to use for a long time before you see results, but I'm just... Right now, I can't really tell you anything definitive. I'm just going to keep on using it. And it's the same for the night cream that I'm using. I just wanted to keep you updated on something. This is the Michelle Fabulous fabulous Eye Cream. I do like this a little bit more than the nighttime one. I can't couldn't tell you what the difference was. But I, I think I just like the consistency better. And I'm going to keep on using that as well. This is another Michelle product. It's the Ultimate Lash and Brow Serum. I think it's working because I, when I mentioned this, I, I did, I was using it on my brows, just this part right here because I have a little sparseness and I want this to match up to this, and it has filled out quite a bit. And then the lashes on this side, I mean, you could tell the difference. This side, <laughs> what a beautiful angle that was. This side is a little bit longer, but this side I feel like is growing back. And so I think it's it could be accounted to, you know, several things. What I'm eating, what I'm doing with my face, what products I'm using. But I think this is helpful and I'm okay, going to continue Now I believe it. the rest of the products are makeup. And the first here is the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette, which I am wearing. And I'll point out the products that I'm wearing. I just feel like this gives you a really natural contour and it is buildable. I just... I just really like this product and I would recommend it and I'm definitely going to get it again. This is just, they're super soft and I feel like this is a really nice contour. I, a lot of the ones that I've run across, bronzers, contour, uh, palettes or singles, they just are so orange or lean towards orange. This one does not. It's just really beautiful and the consistency is what's even better. They're both buttery. This highlight color is even butterier. Butter, butterier than this one and I did use a highlight under my eyes it's just really these this is a really nice duo and it's great that it's from wet and wild because you know that means it is very affordable next so is that's the nice. nylon exo mimi box palette and this is the sweet 16 eye and face palette and I I like this palette but I don't know if I would recommend it to you guys I love the eyeshadows the blush and the highlight are okay uh, I mean this this blush is beautiful, but it's kind of a hard texture. And then this highlight, I know a lot of us would not use this as a highlight. I actually used it uh, in between because I had to stop filming. I put that in the inner corner and on my cupid's bow, but I don't know as a highlight. I think it's a little bit too much. 
Um, these colors are pretty, but as you can tell, as like a whole palette, there's no matte color, no brow bone color. So I don't know how user friendly it would be. It's beautiful, but just I'm glad I have it. It's one of those things. I'm glad I have it, but I don't know if I would recommend it to you all. Okay. Since I'm on, well, actually, I'm not on anything. So I'm going to talk about the Maybelline Master Highlight by Face Studio Blush. And I am wearing this today. I do like this. It's, it's in mauve. I just think that, I think it's this color right here it makes it look a little bit dirty. It's a fine line. If you put too much of any one of these, I feel like your face can get real, look really dirty. And I'm not loving that. So I don't know. I... I don't know if I should get rid of this or what because there's always a, I feel like I always have a chance of my face looking dirty like I think it looks okay on camera but in person it's oh look <laughs> you guys are probably like you have been having that for the last 30 seconds in this video that is so funny no, now that part of my face looks bizarre. Next is the okay. Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder. And this one is in Classic Ivory. And I do like this. The consistency is beautiful. It feels like butter. It's super soft. There is extra coverage in here. I just don't think I like it as much as other drugstore powders that I have tried. Like Milani Face Powder, Multitasker Face Powder. And uh, NYX is NYX is matte but not flat and the L'Oreal True Match. I like those a lot better than this, but this is nice and I love the packaging. Okay, uh, here is the L'Oreal Color Lift Blush in Nude Lift. This is really pretty. I love the L'Oreal Visible Lifts. I think they're beautiful. They just give you a really nice sheen. I'm going to put this on. I just feel like they give you a really nice sheen. A lot of the colors, though, aren't pigmented in that, like, I don't know. It's just not a pigmented color range, but they are beautiful. There's tourmaline pearls in here, and I just, if you're looking for highlights, this is a good way to go. They're just soft and beautiful, and I really like them. I think I have all of them now, so I would highly recommend those. Uh, here is another mini box product. This is the Lip Nacure Glass uh, by Clio, and I believe it's in, I want to say Killer, but I don't know if that's right. It doesn't have, does it? Oh, Born to, Ki Born to Kill. Okay, so that's the color. It's beautiful. I'm not going to put it on because it does stain, but that's what you see in the bottles, what you get on your lips. It's a gorgeous color, and it lasts for a long time, and I love this applicator. Looks like a dancer's foot. <laughs> so that I really like. I have, I really like uh, the lip products that I've gotten from Mimi Box, except for the lip balm, but that's too cute, so I can't really complain. Uh, then, oh, these two I did a video on. These are the Maybelline Color Blur by Lip Studio Cream Matte Pencil and Smudger. And I have the colors plum please which is a really dark plum color and then this is fast and fuchsia which is just a bright pink i really like these i think they go on like nothing i've ever had before these are just so creamy and they apply so nicely and they're easy to apply because they are you know they have that tip to them and i can't wait to get more colors i really like these I have several lip products in here. The one that I'm wearing is the Kate Moss 104, and I've been loving the ones in this line, the ones in the red. And this is just a great everyday color, and they're creamy, and I, yeah, I just have been really liking this line so far. This is 104. Very good for everyday. And then this is Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in Shameless. And this is an amazing color. I love it. It's really purple, really dark, and I would recommend this. This is really nice, too. Of course, we have, well, actually, this is a NYX HC base. I'm not sure why that's in there, but uh, this is a really great base for people who have oily lids like me. The Urban Decay one, I feel like, just stopped working on me, so I am using that one. And I really like Next it. Next product is the CoverGirl Outlast Longwear and Moisture in Magnetic Mauve. And this is what it looks like. This is another great everyday lipstick. 
uh, color and I'm glad I tried this. I don't know I would get any more from the line. I don't feel like it's anything too special. But if you have this and you have a color that you think I should try, let me know. Because I, I just have this one and I think it's good. I just don't feel like Next getting any more. Next is the Instant Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles. And it's in the Brightener shade. It is really brightening. I, I have to be careful because sometimes I tend to use too much. And that is why I took the little ball off. Because I just never knew how much was in there. And I just did not like using that. So I took it off. And it's much easier to get the product out and see how much you're getting. You only need a very little bit. So I think I'm going to have this product for a very long time now but I do like it and I could see why everybody else likes it too I just um the color was a little bit getting used next to next is for the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous Natural Glow Foundation in A42 which is medium beige and this is a nice foundation but I like the original much better I feel like that has that is full coverage and this is only medium and even if I try to build it up it's won't build up to full so i'm not in love with that i think i'm gonna try to mix the two because the original can get a bit drying and this you know is not but i just we're gonna repurchase it just because i'm looking for a fuller coverage foundation and this just provides medium if my face was perfect i would probably love that foundation okay uh the no not the last thing this is second to last this is the alme is so small brow defining pencil i love this this is probably my favorite brow pencil that i've tried this is, this is very similar to the maybelline definer brow but i feel like this is much better the color is brown but i think it leans a little bit more red which is a problem that i do have but i love how this applies i love the consistency of this and you get a spoolie at the end so i really like this and hopefully they'll come out with more colors because i think they only have maybe two or three at the most it might just be and two the very last product is a brush that i got from target it's by their brand up and up and this is the blush brush it's been well used and well loved i love this brush i'm gonna definitely get more of these up and up brushes and this one in particular i feel like you could do so many things with it you could do contour your contouring with it which i did today you could apply blush you could apply highlight just just you could apply powder if you wanted to with it it's just and it's soft too so you really can't beat the price on how good the quality is and i like i said i'm definitely getting more of this and i thought i would end this video since i talked about so many products the top three things you should get the first is the target up and up blush brush Next is the Maybelline Color Blur by Lip Studio Cream Matte Pencil and Smudger. And then the last is the Alme Brow Defining Pencil. So those are the things that I think you must run and get if you're going to try anything from this video. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.